I want to make Mo I want to make Wolf Raven work, okay? Cuz Wolf Raven is fucking cool, okay? So we're going to make it in a deck where Mark of the Solitude is a thing. At the same time that we play... Sworn Avengers. Now we're still thinking, we're still thinking. Bubblesmith, I like. I mean, we need a little bit of, like, face. You know what I mean? Because we want to backline some shit. Let's try Blazing Spines. I haven't tried it yet. And I'm going to try Aspect of the Worm as well. And Chrome Cold. I'm going to include Aspect of the Mountains for when the match goes a bit longer than what I would like it to. Hear me out, Piercing Mantis. The problem is we start backlining way too many things, right? Like, it's too much backline. Yeah, probably Hellstone instead of uh, Chrome Cold, right? I'll listen to Calvin! I just don't want that much removal, you know? Too many two drops and not enough draw. Well, we do have Aspect of the Worm that fills our hand and we do have the Ghost Links. Uh, we just need to um, get some more high-end uh, minions and we should be fine. Now, let's think about that. Lightbender is interesting. Sloth to protect us. I like Sloth. And then Bone Reaper. We went slightly over. So let's remove one blood tier. Um, cool kids only. Um, the thing is. Mementos might be better than Lynx, but I agree exactly with what Kyle is saying, right? Um, Mark of the Solitude is much better with uh, Ghost Lynx. So that's the only uh, differential here. Angel Blocks! Alright, Angel. Come at us. Well, I'll keep the, the Snowpiercer, because it's not bad. Um, and we might have started with it, um, even though we drew a better... Uh, opening.
You know, I'm only missing the banner. The banner banner. The banner banner is the last banner that we're uh, missing. So we gotta get it. And if we get it with Wolf Raven, I think that banner counts slightly more. If you know what I mean. More value. Good draws, overall. Okay. Ah, my wall! That's it. No. Fuck. <sighs> well, oops. <laughs> I was supposed to play the walls first. God darn it. Okay, let's concentrate. Let's concentrate. Let's focus our chakras. Sloth is good. Next turn. Yep, definitely. I really like the uh, combination of uh, Snowpiercer and Sloth. And Bubblesmith. I, I just, like, you just kill things off so easily. Oh, Vindicator. Oh, wow. Why not do it the other way around? Interesting. I'm gonna change the spines. I want my wolf raven! That sloth was really strong. Gauntlet made me want to use mind wrapper. You ever had a mind wrapper idea? Or mind warper? What was that? Plasma storm? That's not fun, angel. I guess it's fine, though. Get aggressive. I did it like this because we have Aspect of the Worm, so we can return Heart Sister to our hand, and uh, and then Heart Sister the Worm to face. Exactly. I knew they would be tempted tempted by this. The question is, do you survive, Angel? I mean, if you come down, I don't even have to heart sister. How much damage can I um, perform? It's two.
two, four, six, seven. Not there, eh? Not there. No hurry. Placing last, like real mm, monsters. Pasty McGee, mind wrapper in replace Lyo. I've seen that. <laughs> That's so annoying to play against. What was it called? The uh, community college, right? <laughs> Has anyone really been far even as decided to use even go want do look more like what the hell are you talking about Calvin? Those are just a bunch of nonsense words put together. So we can do two, four, seven. With the buff of the aspect of the worm. Well, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, is there anything more cool than this? Oh, I forgot to tip, damn it. Andreas, we face again. You are on Abyss now. I prefer for this uh, matchup of ours. I will keep the Mark of the Solitude because I'm a greedy bastard. I'm gonna start with the Sworn Avenger. And we will avenge! Avengers, unite! Mark of the Solitude Banner, indeed, Pasty McGee. We're probably gonna get lured here. But if we don't, we're gonna have some fun. Do you have the lure, Andreas? Oh, it does look like it, doesn't it? Two drop into lure? Oh, into Sarlacc! Bruh! Welcome to your demise! <laughs> gonna change the snow piercer by the way oh hailstone prison would have been better whoops
This is now officially a beast! I'm doing all right, Khalifa. I'm doing all right. We're get, we got we got Avenger with fucking Mark of the Solitude. Like that's a fucking dream. Ah, uh, they had it. And it's okay. And you know what we have? Another one! <laughs> I don't love the idea of increasing their hand when they're low, but... I feel like we have to here. Get out of here. Sarlacky. I mean, Avenger is just... Avenger is just cool. I don't care. I don't care about anything else. It's fucking cool. If they Sarlacc on the orb and then um, Ritual Banish, not Ritual Banish, Darks, like, you know, Exchange. Yeah, it's Ritual Banish. That would be annoying. No, it's... Is it Ritual Banishing? I think it is. Dark sack. In two. What is it? Dead of engineer. Fuck. Annoying as fuck. The problem is Hillstone Prison just kind of gives them more Sarlax. Like, they just play it again. It might be the only way, though. Hailstone the Deja Vu? What? No fucking way! That's insane! There you go. I wanted to take the orb away from them. That's good spawns for me.
I'm going offensive at this point. I thought wave 2 is this month. Allegedly it is. Allegedly it is. Revenant? Trout. Okay. I That's actually um, good for me. Unless they... Um, Knights or assassinate. Double shroud? God freaking damn it. Oh, I guess they kill it. Damn it. I don't think we have time for Wolf Raven. One sec. I think it's about time to start camping green tile. Should have thought about that in my movement. I guess we couldn't really move somewhere uh, where green tile was a possibility. Um, my intention here is that they stay stuck on blue um, next turn. If they don't have a knight or assassin, that might be possible, but uh, it's unlikely, right? Only one of the Sarlax can trade. It might be enough, though. Night Sorrow? Ooh, Revenant. Fuck. Mm. We're one off. No, we got him. Don't we? If I equip, I go to five. This is six, and if I put this on red, that's five. That's 11! Together we made it! We made it even though we had our face up against the wall! Let's go! A victory! Sarlacc! Let's go. Come on. That was tight. That was really tight. We were so dead after that. We were so dead after that. <sighs> Hello, Zero. Okay, we're going second against Bookie. Uh, we do have Blazing Spines. Do we want both? Probably not. Bubblesmith is not bad. I'll go with it. Oh, that's also good. To get more use out of the out of the spines. 
if they tried to run away from them. How's it going, Zero? What are you playing these days? Do, 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 do. Come on, Bookie. I prefer to start with this. We're definitely keeping the aspect of the worm because um, it's gonna help us come back from the fact that we just dumped uh, a little bit of our hand there. I'm playing Lyo deck everyone wins with and I keep losing. <laughs> I think that defines the beginning of our stream, Zero. We were playing uh, Calvin's Liner deck, and I mean, it went okay, but it started terribly because I was playing it terribly, to be honest. It was my fault. All right. All right, Bookie. Why are we playing into Sojourner Grasp Flash Freeze? Oh my god. Oh my god, we also played into Sunbloom? And Portal Garden Inner Focus? Oh my god, we're so bad at this game. My orb? And... BOOM! <laughs> oh, man. Okay, we're, we're dumping a bit too much of our hand, eh? Too much. Gotta be careful, man. They're on six cards and we are on three. That is not good. No freaking bueno. Okay. can bring us uh, back to a decent hand size. Oh, nice. Yes, yes, please. That was a good draw in Avenger. They probably have an answer because they have six cards in hand, but still. Hellstone Prison, please. I need, I need, I need cards in my hand, Bookie. Hellstone it. No! I said Hailstone it.
Kujata Portal Garden Inner Focus Snow Chaser. <laughs> So toxic. I'm just gonna drop the Bone Reaper. In their face. Wolf Raven can be interesting. Thankfully, with the uh, Bone Reaper, we recovered a little bit of our hand size, you know? Nice to see Bone Reaper from time to time, thanks to Zendry Nerf. It, definitely. And, and it's quite good. Um, maybe Vanner is not the best... Um, the best target because um, because they can just hailstone it but if they hailstone it I'm at this point um, I'm benefit from it I really need to go to the bathroom one sec What happened? Oh, Bone Reaper's still there? What? Let's go. It's dispelled though, right? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Get rid of that snow chaser. We got the raven in the field! Wolf raven! My favorite gauntlet leg lethal is Bone Reaper Inner Focus Polarity. <laughs> That's so nasty. Bone Reaper is one of those good luck developing a board. Exactly. It's so oppressive. And it's so, like, the stat of health is so high. That it's so difficult to get rid of it. Like, they chrome cold it, and it's like nothing. Oh, yeah. Yes. You better barrier yourself. So how much damage do we really need? Because we got two Heart Sisters here. So we can actually do four. Oh, now even more. Oh, shit. Four, six, eight, ten. Got him.
Wolf Raven, finish it with your fangs! <laughs> oh. At least you can position things to somewhat play around it. That's true. And it has to be in the center of the action as well. Which definitely um, impacts how you play it, right? Guys, I mean, I don't want to say anything, but, you know. We're not doing um, too bad at all. With the Sworn Avenger Wolf Raven bonkers list. Not bad at all. But uh, you all may be right. We did run a little bit out of um, out of fuse. I'm gonna take one blazing spines out for one memento. And we're gonna keep on trying it. But I like it. Like, it's so cool when you get to, um, when you get to develop a Sworn Avenger. And they don't have an immediate answer. It's like, bro. The arrows he throws. Fucking cool. And Wolf Raven is also sec. Maybe it's too much to play both. But they both go so well with Mark of the Solitude. That I just don't see why not. We just had to build the rest of the deck around um, face, right? With the snow piercers, with the sloth, with the bone reaper, a lot of um, front row cards, right? Because when whenever you have back row cards, it means that some turns you're gonna put things in the back, and you need to protect that. You need to have somewhat of a board presence that you're not surrounded, right? So. Um, cards like Aspic of the Worm that develop a 4-4, which is really good stats for a board, right? Or Blazing Spines really help um, with the front lines. And then you can drop a Sworn Avenger or Wolf Raven, but you need to develop the front lines. Um, I don't know how to call it. Do you really need Blood Tier Alchemist? You know, the, the thing is, what I found myself um, with Vanner is sometimes just, just to ping one damage, you invest something that you would prefer not to. So Blood Tier Alchemist, to me, has found a lot of useful plays in, within Vanner. Real talk, I've always admired your usage of one of and two offs, Choco. I tend to solar deck build with three... What do you mean with threes? How's 3x bounded going? What is bounded? Boundless courage? Nah. Oh, okay, you're asking uh, how is it going with something of their deck. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, three copies of everything. Yeah. I like the solar fit uh, deck building uh, because you reach maximum consistency with it. So I'm a big fan of solar fit building, right? The problem is I've reached the point where having three of everything is not very flexible. You want to have the biggest variety in your hand possible, right? Because you want to be able to combine to combine your cards. Uh, differently and uh, when you have three copies of everything you don't have that much variety I mean we still play three of a lot but why would I put a three three bone reapers you know I just I don't see them neither aspect of the mountains I, I don't see the point will there be matches where we don't draw it for sure oh I took it out for sure but where is really the consistency, right? Is the consistency in drawing it just when you need it most of the times? Or in overdrawing it, right? Which is what would happen with three aspects of the mountains. And 
there is cards that you just don't want three of because you have two of them in your hand and it's just dead in my opinion but you know i'm still i'm still trying to improve as a deck builder it's it's really hard man it's really hard deck building i think it's um one of the hardest things in any card game <laughs>